Hey, we're here at the Frank Deck at the House Cafe in DeKalb, and this is all fan smooth interview. And first, Savannah from Texas wants to know when you're co coming back to Houston. Savannah? <laughs> Again? It's the... I think we did that one last time. No, I think it's the hey, same question. you're not supposed to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are these the same questions from the other day? Oh. Can we tell them that we already did this interview, but it was too windy, so we have to redo it and act like we're not doing it again? <laughs> Savannah, I never heard that question before. We were talking about that in the van today, and we're disappointed that we're not going back to Houston anytime soon, as of right now. Well, we're going to be in uh, Dallas and Austin next week, but unfortunately it's not stopping in Houston. So, we'll be uh, back. We like Houston. Houston's our favorite. Well, I mean, it's up Everywhere's there. is our favorite, but we do enjoy Houston, and we will be <laughs> back very soon. We can't pick favorites. Every city's awesome. Yeah. We love everybody. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There's a few questions from one from Texas. He wants to know if your parents all support you. No. God, no. Yeah, they do. They really do. <laughs> and on top of that, like, my dad's just, like, a huge influence. I think all of our parents, like, to me, playing music and stuff, and everybody's parents are very, very supportive of all this stuff that we're doing, and they think it's great. Chris is actually my father. That's right, son. <laughs> well, well, on top of that, Brad likes to use that word a lot, but on top of that, do you hear that feedback? No. Um, I mean, our parents, they, like, really got brought us up in music, you know, like, when we were little, and um, always, ta always taught us to love rock and roll and stuff, so it kind of just help, helped us with our, with our dreams. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you guys like where your music career is going in? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah, everything's going very good. Um, we're meeting so many awesome people. Um, we like you guys. Yes. TV6. Love you. <laughs> you got something to say? On top of that, um, TV's great. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't watch TV unless you got a broken TV like me? Ian's always wanted to be an actor, so I think he's kind of using uh, the band as a gateway to get on TV. <laughs> We uh we stayed at this place in Hollywood and uh it's all like everyone there was actors and Ian just wanted to fit in so bad he was like so bummed that he, he was there with a the band. He told everybody he was an actor. He told <laughs> he lies. If you ever meet Ian and he tells you some outlandish story that you kind of don't get, it, he's probably lying to you just for a kick. But he he does it in good fun. It's good. Definitely. How do you guys really stress? <laughs> <laughs> we laughed at this one last time. Yeah, we did. Um, yoga. Yoga. I was gonna say yoga. Yogurt. Yogurt, yoga, and I don't Yogi Bear. I don't, I don't like yogurt. I like pudding. I eat a lot of pudding. <laughs> a lot of music, loud music, fast music. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I like to breathe. I like to, you know, kind of zone out. and. We like, we like to hook up on our, um, on our electric breathing machines and get fresh air from that if we're too lazy to go outside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> good times, good times. I like stress balls. The squishy ones. Oh yeah, the stress balls. Those are cool. <laughs> no, yeah, no. That's you're just you're just green. Yeah, it was cool. Nice. It's good. It's good. <laughs> um, how nice. often do you guys get a visit home? Well, uh, too much. Too much. We love being on the road. Home isn't really home anymore. I mean, it is. Our family's there, but uh, I feel more comfortable on the road because. Uh, I don't know, it's just weird because we're so used to like having something to do every day, like a set schedule, knowing that we have to wake up and play. It's really, ni it's really nice to come home and, you know, your family really misses you. So two, three days, it's great, you know, love's everywhere, joy. And then they just can't wait to get you out of their hair. And it's it, you get really bored being home once you're used to seeing new things every day. But we've been home for a while. Too long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the worst thing about being in a band? Being broke. I'm stuck with these guys. Look at my pit stains. <laughs> oh, close your arms. The cool, the cool thing is you get free shirts sometimes. Like we get free clothes from certain sh shows, yeah. if we're lucky. I mean, my hat, I got my hat for free. Zoomies was really nice to us. Great people. They gave us gift cards. Got some new shoes. Vans. The worst thing about being in a band? Nothing except for no money. No money. Not it's very much money, but. The happiness weighs out the money. What would you prefer? You I don't know. It's not something that I recommend for most. Like, I don't know. I guess it's a lifestyle you have to be meant to do. All right. Yeah, is that funny? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, your lifestyle. All right. It's got to be something you're committed to, you know? Yeah. got to be something you're determined to, to go through with. Because if you ain't, you ain't going to get anywhere. 
Right. All right, Aaron has a few questions for you guys. Okay. What's in your CD player as of right now? Slayer. Municipal Waste. Oh. Uh, Actually, Bayside. A mixtape. Yeah, a mixtape. A mixtape my girlfriend made me. The Carter 3. The Carter 3. Uh, random 55. <laughs> 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 random 55, star right here. Yeah, he shakes his head. He's in Random 55. What's in your CD player, dude? Uh, that Bayside record. Bayside, um. We just got it from the Zoomies too after we played with them and I gave it a really good listen and I enjoy it thoroughly. The new Weezer album was pretty good. New Alkaline Trio. Yeah, that's phenomenal as well. We could go on and on and on and on and on. It's all music. It's all good. Slayer. Lots of Slayer and Pantera. Municipal Waste. Municipal Waste. Dim you. Yeah. Anthrax. <laughs> Creed. Seether. Switchfoot. Diesel. <laughs> Clutch. Uh, head P. How big is your disc changer? I don't have a disc changer. Alright then. Next question. What joke makes you guys laugh and never gets old? I told him last time. I don't have a disc changer. It's a little funny, apparently. Ian said something stupid last time, too. We think. No, it, it'll be rude and wrong and <laughs> <laughs> ignorant. I can't say it. We can't tell jokes. It's about, it involves a ladder and an old guy. That's all I'm going to say. What's your What's favorite joke? joke? I'm not good with jokes. I think I might have said that last time, too. Yeah. Yeah, we're not, we're not What's your favorite joke? Yeah. Uh, that's what she See, said. it's hard. It's hard. You can't think of it. That's what she said. <laughs> that is what she said. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good one. Uh, boy. If you guys are standing on an island for a day with one person, who would it be and why? Christian. <laughs> you, so we could do interviews all day. <laughs> probably, probably, honestly, R. Kelly. <laughs> get, a, get a shower, no whatever you want, man. A golden shower. Oh, He's a great yeah. guy. I love those cornrows. Mm -mm -mm. Did I just lose my mind? Bill Cosby? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Bill Cosby for sure. No explanation, that would just be rad. That'd be cool. Yeah. Tom Green. Dude. Where did he go? Tom Green yeah. painted this room. Uh, Where did Tom Green go? He fell off the map. Dude. I know. I miss him. Tom Green, if you're watching, hit me up. Dude. Is that a joke? No. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Thank you guys for your time, and have a good show. Thank you. Wait, did, what? What was it? Thanks for our time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Yes. Thank you.